This right here, my friends, is the Milwaukee M18 Supercharger. Now, if you were a subscriber to this channel, you would know that I already did a video on this. And if you watched that video, you probably know that I got a lot of comments talking about how bad this is for your battery. Let me explain. See, a lot of the people that use Milwaukee out here in the audience probably definitely have a rapid charger. And you see, the rapid chargers are great, especially the dual port rapid charger. One of my most used tools out of my entire tool collection is the M18 table saw. And with that table saw, the most used battery is the 12AH Milwaukee M18 high output. But as great as that table saw is, if you're ripping a lot, you're going through battery after battery after battery. Now your miter saws and larger tools, they also draw a lot of power and use up those batteries quick, but definitely not as fast as that table saw. And the rapid charger takes about an hour, 35 to 40 minutes to get a full charge on a 12.0. And that is where the supercharger comes in. And today we're gonna to talk about the concerns that you had, the testing that I put it through over a year, and well, it's a one year later. One year later, should you still buy this tool? What's up everybody, my name is Clint, welcome to the Tool Review Zone channel. Yes, this is one year later on the Milwaukee M18 Supercharger. Now here are some of the main concerns that a lot of people had. Many people had stated that on these batteries, if you charge them too fast, which this takes around 45 to 50 minutes for a full charge, that it would kill your battery and you'd only have it for a month or two and two, it just, just didn't work anymore. But is that true? Did that really mess up my batteries and make them not work anymore? So I wanted to test this claim out. You see this battery right here, I have used this battery multiple, 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 multiple times and charged it multiple, 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 multiple times. I used it on my top off to charge my phones. I used it on the table saws, the miter saws, over and over and over and over and over again. And though I have multiple of these bad boys, this was my control. This is the one I wanted to see if, well, if any damage took place this battery after charging it on the supercharger many, many times. That battery with this charger has been charged probably over a hundred times. You can definitely tell this thing has been used and abused. Yep, I used this when I was building the studio, tons of different projects, all of the testing that we do here just for that battery and, and other batteries as well. So the question is, how did it hold up? Or even more importantly, how has this battery held up after all of those charges? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, got a full charge. That's real Nasdaq. I done just put it in my vacuum like so. Done shut my vacuum like so. It still don't seem to be running real nice like. No issue at all. So all I can really say about that is, uh, so all I can really say about that is, whoo! Now here's the thing. I have never once had any issue with any battery that I have charged over and over again in this unit or batteries that I have used on this unit. This has never given me any trouble at all either. But hold on there for a second. This, my friend, is not great for everything. If you wanna use the 12.0s, even the 9.0s, even though there's a lot of hate on the 9.0s, never personally had any issues with them. If you put your standard 5.0s on here, 5AH, whatever you wanna call it, or if you wanna charge your 12 volt batteries, this will not charge them any faster than a rapid charger. So I will tell you, if you're planning on going out and buying this supercharger just to charge your 5AH batteries, your 12 volt batteries, and just your standard packages, or your standard battery, don't buy it. It's not going to be any better for you, any different than that rapid charger. However, if you are using larger batteries like the 12AH and you're putting them on larger tools like the circular saws, the miter saws, the table saw, then absolutely 100% yes, this is definitely worth the buy. I actually wish there was a dual port here because you know that table saw, it really does draw a lot of energy and drains those batteries down. So if I could switch in between or charge two at a time, well that would be real nice like. As far as this goes with destroying your batteries, I have never had an issue and I told you, I had charged that one battery alone over a hundred times just to test it out through the past year to see if there was any truth to the claims that this was going to hurt it. So there you go all, that's your one year later on the Milwaukee IA M18 Supercharger. I wanna know what you think. Have you used it before and what do you think? I guarantee if you use it, it's saving you time if you're using those larger high output batteries. Now if this video has helped you out in any sort of way, please don't forget to sneeze that like button. <laughs> appreciate it. I always appreciate you stopping by. And with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.